Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Lagoon. In the last episode, we went through the Dwarf Cave, and we died a lot. And now that we've gotten some things taken care of in the Dwarf Cave, we have since talked to Matthias over there. He's told us we've got to get Princess Felicia back before Zara can do his evil deeds. And unfortunately, we have to go back to the Dwarf Cave again because we have to go to the Hobbit Village. In order to go to the Hobbit Village, we have to go through the Dwarf Cave, which is very, very annoying. We also found the Moon, cr moon Crystal which I equipped, and I'm now going to unequip the Moonstone, actually. Not the Moon Crystal, the Moon... Moonstone. For some reason, I was thinking about that NES game. Why? Don't know. I should play it. I heard it's pretty good. Anyway, we need to go back to the entrance of the Dwarf Cave, so that way, getting to the... Dwarf Cave will be a lot easier. It'd also be a lot easier if I could wipe these enemies out and also get my MP back. I'm surprised I haven't had to stop and rest for a little while. And by a little while, I mean like 30 seconds to a minute. I'm getting a lot better at just running around, trying not to take a lot of damage, watching my MP. Just basically playing the game in general. And it's paying off. So, now that I got this going on. Okay, there's the Dwarf Cave. Not the Dwarf Cave, but the uh, Dwarf Desert entrance back to Phillips Castle. Dwarf Cave is a little further to the north. Which is where we're going to go, obviously. And it appears I've gained a lot of MP now. I'm at level 17, aren't I? Yes, I am. So we got that working for us. Hopefully we can gain another level or two as we go through this area. I will be saving again and I will make sure that I save again in the cave and often. That way I don't have a lot of really dumb deaths like I did last time. I've decided not to edit those out because, well, if I did, well... Let's just say that it would kind of not give an accurate picture of how bad this area can be. Especially if you don't know where all the fireball enemies are going to be. What? Game's not letting me jump there for a second. Alright, there we go. About 800 something away from level 18. And that, therefore because of that, it'll be a little while before I save again. All right, we got that saved, so let's go ahead and make these leaps again. Really like the music. I know I've said that before, but I really like the music here. It's like the most unique thing about this game. As I previously mentioned, this wasn't in the X68000 version of the game. If you were playing that version of the game, you would get the same music as you got in the Gold Cave. Which sadly doesn't have the same amount of oomph in the bass as this little tune does. So we got that going. And I've been, I know, I noticed that I've been saying I've been, we've got that going a lot. And I don't know why. It seems to be just exclusive to this Let's Play. But to be fair, if you want to get through this game, you really got to have things going. This is not an easy game. It has a non-standard control scheme. It's really easy to fall off the edge of a cliff and die, especially here, if you don't know what you're doing. And this place in particular has a lot of cheap deaths. So, really got to be careful and, of course, you gotta have stuff going. 
And you know what? It's gonna happen. I, I, I can see it. Oh, it didn't. It didn't. Good. Okay, we can save again then. And I'm all the way over there. Whoa. Two fireballs. Managed to avoid all those and the five-way shot. That, that took some weird amount of skill that I can't exactly explain or describe. But it happened. And of course I managed to hit that fireball too. Knew that one was going to be there. Should have known that one was going to be there, but I hit him anyway. And I managed to get that fireball before it completely disappeared. Awesome. There should be a fork in the road that I have not taken yet. Because I haven't seen it. Well, I take, took it before in the last video, I just haven't taken it now. Oh boy. Well, I managed to dodge a bullet there. How am I doing it? Oh, I'm completely healed. Good. Also, I'm getting a lot of experience here. At this point, experience is a lot more useful than gold, because you won't be seeing any more shops past Denigal. So unless you're willing to go all the way back to Volo for healing, healing pots or elixirs, which I doubt you will, yeah, you're better off just saving your healing items for bosses only, and I did not expect him to be there. Okay, I'm at that chest that used to have the magnet sword in before I pulled it out. Alright. I know where I am. Here's where I should be. And we are fully healed again, so let's go ahead and save. Yeah, you definitely want to save at critical junctures here because... That way especially. To the top, towards the top of the screen. Yeah, I thought I was going to get hit by that. I hate that you can be knocked into the lava. That's really annoying. Oh, oh, I dodged that. Oh, that is good. That is really good. So let's go ahead and save again. Why not? You want to be very careful as you progress through here. There we go. Any fireballs going to come this way? I hope not. Well, there was one, but it was right there at the end. And I gotta jump right. Well, hmm. Well, I know I gotta go somewhere. There it is. You know, I had to, had to go a little bit off the off the uh, off the bend there in order to get here. But you want to stand here, where this weird wall of lava is. You want to go to item and you want to equip the freezing pot. From here, you want to press L while standing on this little part of the ground here. And the wall of lava is gone. And I'm just going to save here anyway in case any fireballs try to hit me. I doubt there... I was about to say, I doubt there will, but two just happened to show up right when I started walking to the north. Thanks, game. And as soon as you come up here, you meet who I assume is Princess Felicia. Ah, so it is Felicia. She tells you that Ella indeed captured her and brought her here. And they intend to use her power to move Lagoon Castle to an inaccessible place. And if that happens, the world is doomed. She tells you there's a secret place in the castle where the power of magic will be multiplied. And I'm assuming Zara's going to go over there? Dare is probably going to head over there to really revive the evil spirit. Unfortunately, Ella stops us before we can really do anything. Then she focuses on us. 
telling us to stay out of this if we want to keep our lives. And that person to the right of Felicia was, of course, the Sorceress Ella. There's not much else we can do here. Except to go through this door. And oh boy, I want to save here. You want to save here. Because here is where you'll face another boss. Now... With bosses, you can't use magic. So you have to basically use your MP for the rings. I'm going to wait until I go into the boss room to equip the ring. So that way I don't drain MP on the way here because those few MP that I will have will count. So without further ado, do, I do want to unequip the freezing pot and I think I want to replace it with the elixir. That would help. And from there, I want to go over into this room. Probably should have saved before that, but well, that will, that will just be a, uh, a nagging problem to have in case I do die here. Anyway, we've entered another boss room. Ella warned us. Now she's going to take us down, or at least try to. Meet the next boss, Eardon. And this guy, well, you better be quick on the draw against him. When he sticks his head out like that and shoots the fireballs, that's when you want to hit Eardon. And apparently he can also do that little shaking motion to fake you out. Now, you can press R here all you want. You can't use magic. And he's not going upwards for some reason. Now he is. Alright. Alright, we got a few hits in. I'm glad. You gotta get pretty close to get some hits on Eardon. Maybe I should be using my uh, own advice and equipping my ring? That would be nice. Of course, if I get low, I probably... No, I don't want magic. Equip is one I want. Sometimes it's a little easy to get confused on which menu you need to go to sometimes. And sometimes you may not be able to get a hit in on them at all. It's kind of nuts. And I feel like I'm just wasting my ring power now. Which stinks, but what else can you do? I'm gonna go ahead and use the elixir anyway. He's got less health than me at this point. So all I need to do is just lure him towards this wall. And I should be able to do a little bit of damage on him. Get him a little further to the right here. There we go. Just one more hit. We should be good. Or, now one more hit. There we go. You gotta be really patient with Eardon. Or Eardon, or whatever it is you want to call him. And I went up to level 18. I have 123 magic points now. So, what am, how am I doing? Okay, we barely made it to the next level. Do I have the ring equipped? I probably don't. No, I don't have the ring equipped, so that's good to know. And from here, all we have to do is just open this door, and we are now in the Hobbit Valley. 
I'm going to go ahead and save the game so I don't have to face Eardon again. I'm surprised I beat Eardon on the first try. So we got that done. And we have two new enemies here. The first one is that larva that I just attacked and destroyed. They're very slow and they just move towards you when they see you. And then you got these little orcs that throw pig's asses at you. I'm beginning to wonder if you can jump those and avoid taking damage from them. At least the larvae here are pretty slow. So, they're easier to take down than the orcs. You never know when they might throw a pickaxe at you. And you can't jump in the water, no matter how hard you try. I mean, it should be pretty obvious, but still. Definitely want to keep moving against these guys, too. And I believe if you just go due north of where he began, you'll be at the entrance to the Hobbit Village. And apparently you can't strike the pickaxes away. But we're here. We might as well go ahead and take the time to... Okay, that was odd. I did not expect that larva to be there. I also did not expect that larva to continually, continuously back away. And here we are in the village of Poper. Where the music is even more desperate sounding than in Denegal. This kid will tell you that this is the Hobbit's village, and it used to be very lively, but now it's deserted. And there seems to be a cause of that. An epidemic has spread in the village due to the Water Lagoon Castle. So, the dirty water has actually affected this place. And then if we don't leave, we may catch that sickness as well. And most of these people have someone in need of some dire help. There is a church here, much like in Atland, and you can talk to the cleric here. And it turns out that this village prospered due to the water. Unfortunately, now that it's dirty, well, there's not much they can do. The cleric will tell you that you need some mint, which is said to cure anything. And if they had it, everyone would be free of the epidemic. He'll tell you that there is some in Siegfried Castle, which we will have to go to in order to advance the plot. But just like every other place we've been to, there are demons there. They can't do anything. So it's up to us if we want to get that mint. There is another building just to the left you can enter. And here you'll just see a child talking to her sick mother. Or rather, his sick mother. And the mother just tells the kid to get out of the village. The kid thinks his mother will get better soon, but... Well, unless we get the mint, that's definitely not going to happen. And you can't talk to the mom either. Oh, you can! You just got to be at the lower left corner of the bed. All she can do is cough, though. And that's, aside from the church, that's the only other building you can enter. There are no weapon shops, there are no armor shops. And none of the people here really have a lot of information that, it's, that you could find useful. So if you need to buy anything, you'll have to go all the way back to Volo. So, yeah, you're better off just using your healing items for bosses only. And I'm already back at the church. There are some more people that I do want to talk to. 
And this kid has lost a lot of people to the epidemic. Let's see, is there anyone else around here? Well, there is a... Smoking chimney up there. Any more people? Anyone back here? No? Okay. There may be somebody in the lower right hand corner as well as the lower left. I'll be checking those corners and then I'll be heading towards Siegfried Castle. Well, there's nobody here. And we already talked to that kid. So we might as well go ahead and check here too. We've talked to you already, haven't we? Yeah, we've already talked to you. So we're basically done here. Now that we're done with Popper, at least for now, we might as well go back to the Hobbit Valley and make our way to Sigri Castle, which is to the west of the village, and I can't fight this thing while facing the bottom of the screen to save my life. There we go. Alright, we're almost halfway to the next level, level 19. And I definitely want to fight off some monsters while I'm here. If I ever see any, of course. And I'm definitely seeing that orc there too, so I might as well go ahead and fight him. And that larva. Barely. Hate that the orcs move around randomly. Makes it harder to hit them. They throw projectiles at you, which makes them very dangerous. So you gotta be careful around here. There's gotta be a few more. Yep, there's a, there's a larva there. There's a maggot. And I heard somebody throwing something. So we gotta take care of them. There's two of these guys. Gotta attack this guy and take him down before he takes me down. And there's really nothing else anywhere around here. Only thing you'll find here is monsters, monsters, and monsters. So now that we're here, let's take this little walkway over to Siegfried Castle. And my MP, not my MP, but my HP is not refilling very fast. Which is weird because I don't, there doesn't seem to be any monsters here. Which is really odd. How am I doing on HP? Huh, okay. I like the fact that we've made quite a lot of progress in leveling the seer up in such a short time. Only took us a couple of videos to get from barely a blip on the HP bar all the way to more than halfway across the bar like we've got now. And we are now in Siegfried Castle. Don't worry, those statues won't hurt you. I've already checked. And we got some more knights. I'm assuming the fire magic does not work on them. The wind might. Well, the wind just pushes them back, but they don't do any damage. We've got a few things to find. I'm going to spend the rest of the video looking for stuff in on this entry level. Besides the knights, you got those rolling balls. And they come at you just fast enough to make it a little hard to swipe at them with the sword. And that's not good. That's really not good. Ow. I need to heal up a little bit. Ugh, I'm at less than half health. That's not good. Yeah, this is where the game really starts making you rest a lot more. And there, there are two things we need to find here. Which I should be able to find right away. If you couldn't already tell, the knights are a lot easier to deal with. I can stand there and heal some a heal some HP, and you know, while I get my experience at the same time.
like so. And now that I got th those two knights taken down, whoa. Thankfully, you can take this down with magic. You're better off just doing that. And down here is a chest. Contains a defensive ring. I missed this in my initial playthrough of the game. I need to see what it does. Equip, that's it. I'm missing a ring. That's not good. I think I'm gonna find it somewhere. But yeah, this one doesn't increase your defense, so I'm assuming this is the one that makes you invincible? I'll check on an enemy, just to be safe. Because I know there's one that makes you invincible. Yeah, this is the one that makes you invincible. Um, I need to attack this enemy before I de-equip. De there we go. And I am completely spent on MP there, so I need to unequip that ring before it completely takes down all of my MP. So yeah, defensive ring is the one that makes you invincible. And there's another thing that I want to find. Wait for my HP to go back up a little bit, and then I'll go ahead and look for it. And if I could do this without getting hit, that would be great. There we go. Get a few more MP in there that I attack those knights. And I'll go ahead and fight this guy off as well. Why not? That's not the room I wanted to go into, but, well, we're pretty close to where we need to go to anyway. And if I could actually get some swings in, that'd be great. Because I don't want to die here. There we go. I knew there'd be a knight waiting for me as soon as I got near the door. And inside this chest is the Force Sword. Which is a step up from the Magic Sword we just found in the Dwarf Cave last episode. So let's go ahead and equip that. And we have more strength and defense now. That'll help us get rid of the enemies around here really quick. So, as I stay here and heal, because we found everything in this floor, I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. So join me next time where we explore more of Siegfried Castle and try to find that mint. So until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!